The final game in round one of the LV Cup saw the Exeter Chiefs travel to the Kassam Stadium to take on London Welsh. The Chiefs saw the game as an opportunity to blood their youngsters with the likes of 19-year-old fly half Henry Slade and 6'11 lock Will Carrick-Smith earning their first starts. Welsh, on the other hand, had to rely on the tried and tested. That seemed to pay off early on as two Gordon Ross penalties had the Exiles 6-3 ahead with 25 minutes gone. The Chiefs hit back with the first try of the game on the half hour. A looping pass from scrum half junior Polu sending Carrick Smith over in the corner. But Welsh responded through the boot of Ross once again to take the slenderest of leads into half time. That was the last time the Exiles were to hold the lead, however, as Chiefs' young Braves cut loose in the second half. The excellent Slade had already converted a penalty to put the Chiefs back in the lead before Sam Hill burst through and released Will Foster to score Exeter's second try. Welsh did muster two Gordon Ross penalties in response, but in truth the Chiefs were now bossing the game. 19-year-old fullback Jack Now was the next to cross, diving over in the corner after the forwards had created the overlap. And just four minutes later, Nick Sestere ensured all the back three made it onto the score sheet, diving over from short range. The Exeter backs were beginning to run riot and another good break from Junior Polu set up Sestere for his second of the afternoon. With time running out and the Welsh seemingly chasing shadows, there was still time for Nowell to finish off the scoring with probably the try of the afternoon. Junior Polo once again at the heart of things, he and Mike Pope combining to give Nowell the space to skate through under the post and round off an emphatic victory. Final score from the Kassam, London Welsh 15, Exeter Chiefs 42.